Adam, two will win over Scarborough in the League Cup. You must be pleased with the team's efforts. Yeah, I'm always generally I'm always pleased with the efforts of the team. Very honest, hard-working group of players, and um, delighted for them that they've obviously got the win and we've progressed again. Uh, Scarborough penalty in the first half kind of came against the winner play. Uh, fans seem to be uh, on top for the majority of the first half. But what was your view on the uh, on the Scarborough penalty? I don't really know what Dave's where he's meant to go. Really, I mean he's he's, he's He's held his ground, he's put his hands up, Cadman's just touched it past him, he can't get out of the way of him and he's obviously there's been a bit of collision and he's gone over so it's uh, you get him and you, and you don't but I thought the reaction to going behind was really good, um, I thought we were the better team up till they scored um, and that's twice now in, in a week that we've uh, come from 1-0 down to win 2-1 so you know, really pleased Of course crucial equaliser just before half time, kind of set your team up perfectly for the second half and of course Jimmy Spencer with the uh, winner, so go to win any kind of game really isn't it? Yeah he's a good player isn't he I mean it's uh, good work uh, by Carts, you know it's a good set Jimmy's just wrapped his foot round it um, I'm happy to see it go in but um, you know, I, thought, I thought we were the better team all game really thought we played the better football created the better chances don't think Carl's had a save to make again so yeah I'm just I'm just pleased for the players you know we've we've made a few changes I'm particularly pleased for the likes of Isaac Baldwin um, Luke Parkin uh, Jack Dyche who's um, who's come on just after half time uh, I would have liked to have started Jack but he he had a um, a small uh, injection on Friday morning and we, we didn't want to start him in, in case he wasn't quite right but you know them lads because of how well the other players have been doing uh, they haven't had a lot of game time and um, sometimes that can be difficult going in when you've not played a great deal of football um, but I thought that they, they went in they worked really hard uh, they showed what good quality they've got and um, pleased for everybody but for, certainly for them lads in particular you mentioned Jack Higgins there have you got an update on when he's like this I'm talking about Jack Dyche there with the injection sorry but um Jack's fine. Uh, Jack Higgins is fine, and uh, and so is Will. Um, they both wanted to play the game tonight. Uh, I felt that they needed a rest. Um, Jack had a little bit of, of an issue with his his groin on uh, Saturday, but wanted to play on on Saturday, and um, you know we we decided to bring him off uh, precautionary. The same with Chris Atkinson there when he he. Uh, he, he, he just a little bit of cramp, you know. We didn't want to take a risk, or we, we, we brought him off. And, and the same with Will. Will's played a hell of a lot of football since he's been here. And um, like I said, Jack and Will, they were both desperate to play tonight. And um, you know, we just had to say no. You know, we'll, we'll save them for uh, for Baseford, and um, they'll be they'll be fresh for that game. Yeah, and no, Chris Atkinson and Sires they uh, came off with an injury. How are they feeling after after that game? They're fine. Yeah. Um, as I say, both were just precautionary more than anything. Uh, Chris got a little bit of uh, cramp in his hamstring, wanted to carry on. We had to look at the bigger picture. Um, obviously, we had a lot of important games coming up, um, so we, we, we withdrew him. And then Dave, he, uh, he same, he, he felt a little bit of cramp and you know recovered well from the cramp and, and carried on. But again, we just decided to be pre- precautionary measures and, and brought him off. So they're, they're, they're all fine. Of course, through to the fourth round with the win tonight. Is, th- is this a cup day you want to win? We want to try and do well in every competition. You know, the, the, the thing about this competition is I think four games, five, five wins and you're in the final. Um, so I think we're in the semi-final now. Um, so we're, we're as good as anybody else that's in it. So, you know, why not? Um, tonight was just about the performance level, really. You know, I said to the players, just, you know, work hard enjoy it play well if we win great if we don't no problem um, but but you know we, we're delighted to progress in any competition so it just keeps that run going doesn't it you know we're on we're on a good run we're on, in good form um, gives us you know a semi-final to look forward to in the new year and um, so yeah now that we're in semi-finals then I suppose why not you yeah, mentioned a good run there I guess uh, tonight was just kind of you know keep the momentum going ahead of the big game this weekend yeah it is a big game isn't it but Every game's a big game, you know. When you want to, when you want to do well, and you want to challenge for things, every game's a big game. You know, we're making games become bigger games because of how well we're doing. Um, but you know, we're, we're well aware that we've played what you know less than half of our league games, and there's a, a lot of very, very difficult challenges still to come, and a lot of football still to play. Um, so we're just enjoying it at the minute. You know, we're, we're working hard. We've got a good spirit. Um, I think we're playing well. I think we're defending well. Um, we're in a good place but you know in football things can change very quickly so we certainly won't be taking it for granted of course uh, return to league action this weekend and like I said it is a big game this weekend what are your thoughts going into it? 
Well, it's, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? You know, they're a good side. Disappointed with how we how we lost the game at their place earlier on in the season. I think it was on uh, in the fourth game. But you know, they're a good team. They've got good players, and they're having an excellent season. Excellent season, uh, as are we. So um, you know, we know it's going to be a difficult game for us. But I'm sure that their manager also knows that it's going to be a difficult game for them. So um, is it going to be? You know, decisive in in where both teams finish the season. No, you know what will be decisive is is how we do after this game on Saturday in the remaining twenty odd games. We'll we'll be going to try and win the game as I'm sure Baseford will, and let's just see how we get on.